Now I'd like to tie for you a bass fly. This is a foam head diver. The hook I'm using is an eagle claw weedless hook. I like using these because you get that built in weed guard and it's already proven because it's a manufacturer weed guard. The thread I'm going to use is UTC 210. This is a heavy heavy thread. I'm going to tie it in behind the weed guard position and I'm going to wrap this down the flat of the hook. And I'm going to stop it just before it hits the point of the hook. Remove that excess. For the tail I'm going to use ostrich hurl and this is a mixture of black and white and you just mix them up yourself. And I want this to be one and a half the length of the body. Maybe even longer. This is a bass fly. This uh, ostrich hurl swims very good in the water. I can make them even longer. I'm going to pull them a little bit. This is close to two times the length of the hook shank. And I'm going to wrap them forward. And you can wrap them all the way in if they're not reaching the eye. The only problem with tying flies that have the manufacturer's weed guard is it gets in the way a little bit. Well, we got a nice long tail there. Nice bushy tail. I got about a, a dozen of each color. The body is going to be marabou. Then I have a black and a white, and I'm going to wind them together. And I'm starting with marabou that is short. I'm going to tie them in by the tip. And advance the thread maybe halfway. And we're going to tie these in together and we're going to pull the marabou towards the back as we do it. Lay them down towards the back. And we'll get a nice black and white mix on it. And if you have blood marabou, that's that would be fantastic to use on this. These two particular Marabous have kind of a heavy stem. That's one reason why I have the heavy thread. And I'm going to stop them there about halfway. Tie them down tightly. And I'm going to remove the excess. You could just look at all of it flying all over. You could comb this out. I have the piece of Velcro that works good for a comb. I'm going to wet my fingers a little bit to get control of this. And you can see those stems there. I'm going to tie them in. Wrap them down good. Now I have two marabou with the blood vein and I have a black and a white. I'm going to tie them in, not by the tips, but by the bottom. And tie them down good. 
and move your thread up out of the way. Take the two marabou and wind them together. These blood veins you can pull the hackle to one side easily. Then we're going to wrap them forward. I lost one. Not a big deal. You do have to grab it by the very tip so that you're not winding it in hard. I'm going to hold it there and I'm going to tie that black one in because that black one is short. Bring my thread back. Wind these all in. And when I get to the end of that feather, I'm going to tie that down. I'm going to remove this excess. I'm going to take my Velcro and I'm going to comb that out. These front hack, these front marabou were longer, so they're going to lay down a lot further. I'm going to wrap all of this head down with thread now. That's how it'll look in the water. Now I'm going to take a V-shaped piece of foam, and this is sticky back foam. And I'm going to tie that in. And we want this one extending about half an inch. I'm going to tie that in, and I'm going to tie this down. get more foam in there to help help it return to the surface. Now I'm going to take a this is an ice cream cone shaped piece of foam and this is also the sticky back and this has glitter on there so I'm going to tie it with the glitter side down I'm going to wrap that in right to the head. And wrap all of that in. Now I'm going to take just a large grizzly hackle. I'm not going to use the very tip. I'm going to break it about midway. Bring my thread up to the top. And stop your thread at the back. I'm going to take this and we're going to wind this back to our thread. And there's a little bit stuck to the uh, glue right now, but that's all right. 
you can palmer this back and when you reach the thread go ahead and tie that off and remove the excess we're going to take all of this hackle and we're going to pull it towards the back this is soft so it will cooperate and I'm going to fold this over I'm going to stick it to the piece underneath now I'm going to wrap right here my bodkin and pull those hackles out that I just grabbed take the bodkin underneath and pull any hackles out that you may have pulled under that use that heavy thread to pull down down there pretty good tighten it in take my whip finisher and whip finish that Take my bodkin again, pull out any hackle that I may have tied in. I'm going to take my super glue and I'm going to put a drop of super glue on the top on that thread. Just a little bit. I'm also going to put a little bit of super glue at the front. And I'm going to put eyes on it. Put another dot of super glue on this side. The super glue will change the color of the foam if you're not careful. Here we have a foam diver. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.